Uh, today I'd like to talk about the concept of static profiles and how they work. So ordinarily, the way that we apply settings to a device is that we apply what we call group settings uh, in a group. We can also apply connections. And then any device that goes into that group or that subgroup will inherit those settings. So for example, under the My Devices group right now, if I click Changed, we can see the settings that I've applied for this group. So there are quite a few and I've got connections. So ordinarily, if I wanted to create a subgroup, I click My Devices, click Create Group, it will create a subgroup under here. And then if I just go to my internal devices group, and click non-default, we can see the settings that are being applied and where they're being applied from. So this is all very well and good if we're using a group inheritance. But if we were to create another top level group, we'd have to recreate those settings again. So the way that we can overcome that is with what we call static profiles. So I've got one that's created here that I've called group settings. And again, I've taken a similar approach. So again, if I, if I click changed, we can see the settings that have been applied. This is with the exception of keyboard layout and time zone, just in case we want to um, regionalize that in any way. So how are static profiles applied? Well, quite simply, I've got another group, top level group here that I've created. If I expand that and click group settings, if we click changed, we don't see anything. If we click non-default, we don't see anything. And that's because we've not applied any settings to it. I could manually create these settings, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this static profile. So I'll just click static profile, select the static profile that I've created here, click add. That's now applied those settings to that group. So if I now click those group settings and then just click non-default, we can see the, where the inheritance is now coming from. We then have the option, for example, of creating a subgroup. We'll just call it UK. Click OK. Expand those group settings. Click non-default again. And again, we can see where the inheritance is coming from. But now we just need to add in keyboard layout time zone. They're automatically applied. I'll click non default again. So here we can see where those settings are coming from, and we can see that here with a tick next to it where I'm overwriting the default settings. So in, a, in basic terms, that is how uh, static profiles work. <laughs>